listen to me now Listen to me now Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. We're at uh, number four now, Kel. Yeah. yeah, we're at number four. So we're here back in Exy. We're gonna get rid of the surfboard and we're gonna do a little bit of barefooting for this afternoon. So this is gonna be sick. Got the winch all rigged up. Are you on, are you on driving duties again, Kel? Yeah, let's go, come on. Absolutely unreal. Got Benny on the uh, on the winch now, so he's gonna have a go. <laughs> he's up. Look at him on the surfboard. Give it a slash, dude. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Man, this winch is so much fun. Loving it. You can only go if you stand up. What do you reckon, Kel? Really <laughs> Got a couple <of> barrels. Shut <laughs> down water. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, so that's, uh, I guess that's one of the beauties of having this winch is um, obviously we can't travel the whole way around Australia using the Malibu. Um, it was just a little bit unrealistic. We, we considered it, but there's that many spots where you can't use a boat, whether it be up north because of the crocs, or there's just nowhere to actually use it, to come up with a bit of a solution um, of something that we could use to 
I guess barefoot because I mean I love barefooting I don't want to not barefoot so yeah so we found rewinch um, it kind of suited the needs of what we wanted really well uh, so we kind of got it we didn't really know if it was gonna work but it works perfectly so um, that's I guess that's the plan now to use it in the places where you wouldn't be able to use a boat to barefoot so um, if you know anywhere that I could potentially use it to go for a barefoot please drop a comment uh, in the com <laughs> drop a message or a location in the comments below I'd love to hear uh, the location where you'd like to see me barefoot but this is what it's about it's about having fun so oh. Oh. Woo. Look at the cat dragged in <laughs> go Rita go Are you gonna have a go? Yeah, shit, yeah. No, that is not what you said a second ago. <laughs> oh, hey. Oh. Well, hello, camera. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Can we do that again? Yeah. Yeah. Cut. <laughs> All right, here we are. Bones Explore Life right out of here. Send a wind trap. Keenan's got us hooked up here. Uh, me mate, uh, me mate Matt's gonna have a go. Yep. Yeah, yeah matey. Here you go, babe. Thank you. All that, uh, all that driving requires a bit of a uh, refreshing drink. It's a pretty tough gig. It's a tough gig, isn't it? Can the boys do it? Oh. Oh, I'll give a hand. Cheers, bud. Much out there, but yeah, epic coral, beautiful, uh, beautiful diving. But, um, yeah, no one else even really caught too many fish. I got this one, so I'm happy with that. Oh, what are you cooking up, Tessa? Um, GT and with featuring didgeridoo. <laughs> Yeah, they're good. Alrighty. First spear fish catch that I've ever had. Fresh fish. Yeah. Pretty good.
Alrighty guys, so a little bit of a bummer. Um, just realized that all of the footage that I got this morning has been corrupted. Don't know exactly what's gone on, but um, I think the GoPro is, I don't know, deleting all my files from the micro SD card. It's real shame, because we were in Kalbari this morning and we uh, we met up with one of the local dudes there, Oscar. He's a, uh, he's a pretty deadly spear fisherman and surfer. He took us to some cliffs there um, and we've done heaps of like cliff diving and rock jumps and stuff. So it was super fun, but yeah. Kel did get a video, so I'll drop that here. So yeah, you can obviously tell that it was pretty epic, but a uh, real shame about that. We're back on the road and we're going to be checking out a spot that I've been wanting to go visit for a while now. So it's gonna be perfect for the winch. But yeah, let's get on the road and hopefully no more files get corrupted. Let's do this. We've only really kind of got one shot to make this work for a couple of reasons. Kelly's driving the winch, so that means I kind of need her to film everything as well. So I'm going to kind of send the drone up before I swim out. I'm going to set up the camera and hopefully then everything will be ready and set up so all she, have to, all she has to do is drive it. The other thing I'm really worried about is these like salt lakes, they're not deep, they're all very shallow lakes, so I'm not exactly sure how deep it is. Look around the edge before and it kind of, there's like this salt crust that if you sink through it becomes muddy and I don't really don't want to make the lake muddy. Um, so that's the other thing. And the third thing is, <laughs> I don't know what the rules are about skiing on a salt lake. So I'm pretty sure this is private property. I'm just going to run with the, thing, the old saying where if you don't ask, you don't know. So. We'll see, see how that pans out. But um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I've only got one shot at getting this right. So fingers crossed, I'll set everything up as easily as I can. And then uh, hopefully I can get it done. Alrighty, so we've got the winch set up, ready to go. We've, uh, there's obviously not much that we can kind of tie it on. So uh, we put the straps around the wheel um, and plugged it in and uh, hopefully that should be good. sharp walking out there. My feet are all shredded up. You get that? Uh, yeah, they, they are absolutely good bleeding as well. Where? On the side, so on the outside. This one? Oh. <laughs> all from walking and trying to get out. I hope um, you can fix the wind. But these salt crystals are just mm. so sharp. So but look at the yeah, this is probably, this has been on my bucket list of places that I've wanted to barefoot, even before I got the winch, so the winch just made it possible, so I'm so stoked that I've just done that successfully, tick it off the list, and uh, on to the next spot, <laughs> look how salty I am. Your whole face is I, ju I just need some fresh hot chips, and I'll bring the salt to the party, so... So, let's have a shower, wash out the winds, and then uh, move on to the next part. This is some hard salt to get 
it off. So we're going on a little bit of an adventure this morning, something a bit different. Where are we going, Kel? We're up to wait and see. <laughs> Good call. say that was absolutely epic wasn't it your classic saying my classic saying but no it was it was so cool it was always on the bucket list of something that we wanted to do but we knew it was gonna be good but it was better than what I was expecting to be honest was it yeah I thought they were more fun and like playful than what I was expecting but I thought I expected there to be more there was only a couple but the ones that were out swimming were so much fun mm. they were just having an absolute ball they're having a great time but uh anyway that was pretty sick but i reckon that wraps up this episode so thank you for watching really appreciate it don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe really really appreciate it and uh yeah stay tuned for the next episode we're going to be in perth for a for a little bit got a couple of things planned there so um it should be a good one hey yep all righty see you guys next time you